in, which were about to ramp up construction on very shortly, probably first thing next year. And then we will have our large amenity center coming online, uh, Memorial Day 2017, pool, fitness center, the whole nine there. I do want to make clear that it won't all be open first thing in 2017. It will be phased, but we will have the pool available Memorial Day 2017. So I won't go too far into this because we just talked about it, but we're super excited to be home to two amazing new schools and an amazing school district. So great, great to pull that in. Last thing, and I think most well, I won't say most exciting thing, certainly not most exciting thing, but most recent thing to be excited about is uh, last month marked the launch of Westlake. Generation Park approached us a couple years ago and said, hey, this corridor here, this Westlake corridor from the Beltway up to, to Atascacita really doesn't have an identity. Uh, we've got Humble, we've got Atascacito, we've got the broader Lake Houston area, but there's so much development occurring here on West Lake Houston Parkway, we want people to be able to identify with something. So we talked to the chamber, we talked to the school board, we talked to area residents, and we said, how do we really make this feel like something, give this area a brand? We went with... Westlake, super, super excited about that. Really encourage everybody who lives, works in the area to jump on board there and uh, think of this as Westlake. We'll ask, Westlake logo is a hyperlink. We've got a short video if you can see if that. much more articulate than I am. So where the beauty in the neighborhoods is wrapped only by the beauty of its surroundings. Oh. Where houses become homes. And where families find new ways to enjoy life together. This is Westlake. A place where you can live, work, and play and never be too far from home. And it's located in one of the most vibrant cities in the country, Houston, Texas. Just west of Lake Houston, Westlake has a wide variety of master plan communities with more than 10,000 homes from award-winning developers. Whether you're a young family looking for the perfect place to start out, or an executive seeking to settle down in a private gated community, finding your perfect home will be easy. For those who love tall trees, secluded lots, and feeling worlds away, there's the Rose. Nestled within 993 acres of parks, creeks, and natural reserves, it's become one of the most talked about neighborhoods in Houston. The award-winning schools of the Humble Independent School District are hard at work helping children of the community reach their full academic potential. In Westlake, there's a world of recreation right outside every door, like three state parks, miles of wooded hiking and biking trails, and Lake Houston, the largest recreational lake in Harris County. Residents of Westlake are just minutes from top-rated golf courses, including the Golf Club of Houston, home to the PGA Tour Shop Houston Open. Of course, it's not all play. Generation Park is a new world-class business destination that is becoming home to some of the world's most innovative Fortune 500 corporations. This 4,000-acre enterprise park will be the social and economic hub of Westlake, with great restaurants, shopping, hotels, parks, and public spaces for families and businesses. No matter which Westlake community you call home, when you do decide to leave your beautiful neighborhood, you'll find you're closer to Central Houston than you thought. With easy access to Bellway 8, you're just about 10 minutes from George Bush Intercontinental Airport and about 20 minutes from downtown. At Westlake, you're close in, but worlds away. The new direction in Houston. Destination of Westlake. <laughs> Again, we feel like we've hit, we like hit a critical mass here in terms of 
residential in terms of commercial, upcoming commercial, uh, to really have this a living, breathing thing. And I work here, I don't live here, so I'm not as invested in the community as you folks are. So I ask you, I want you to own this, I want you to make it yours, I want you to feel comfortable coming to me, coming to Generation Park, and saying, look, here's, here's how we can fully realize this. Here's how we can make Westlake something special. So I have cards. Feel free to come and talk to me afterwards if you've got thoughts, if you've got uh, concerns with anything you have, really. I also will ask if you've not gone through the groves, highly encourage you to do so. It's really a special place, as is this entire community. So. Thanks for the opportunity to let me speak, and happy holidays. I say she did great, wouldn't she? So one of the things that we want uh, to talk about in just a moment, I want to come back. Uh, Dr. Sconzo is uh, one of the things that's happening with him, and I wish I could veto this, but he's... I don't know, for some reason he wants to spend more time with family, you know, take kids to school and all those kind of things. But you're planning on retiring as of a year from now. So, and my understanding is that you will stay on a consulting role for a period of time within that next year. So, thank you for your service. You mean everything to us. Thank you. Before we go on to the next one, because we've got something very exciting to finish up with, Erica Johnson, would you mind raising your hand for just a minute? Okay, Erica was on the cover of. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. No, at the Chamber of Commerce, they had what was it, 440, and Heath was on. <laughs> but you do such an awesome job, you and Dwayne, and we just appreciate you very much. Now, if you're like me, occasionally you miss things. My wife tells me occasionally I'm not the most observant person. But hopefully, as you were driving in today, you might have noticed some things being built on the right-hand side as you come in. We are so excited about our next guest. And I got to meet her the other day at the elected officials meeting. I think you're going to be thrilled to talk with her. Danny, would you come on up, please? Give her a round of applause. Thank you, Don. And thank you all so much for having me. Um, it's I'm so delighted to be here and to share with you and to actually have you look out the window and see um, our new project. We are bringing a new program marketplace um, to this community right adjacent to the high school. So thank you so much to the chamber, and thank you to Principal Perrin and Summer Creek High School for having us um, and for also being our new neighbor. Thank you very much. And thank you, ATV, for lunch. We very much appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we actually we do work together a lot. Um, all the grocers, um, hunger relief is a really unfortunate reality in the Houston area. And every year in January, we do work together during the Super Bowl of carrying and throughout the year to work with the food bank. And I'll touch on that a little bit more as well. Um, briefly, I want to talk about Kroger's commitment to the community, and Summer Creek, in this case, is no exception. Um, we really work hard to serve the communities and the people who shop in our stores. And real quickly, we support these causes here, as I mentioned, Hunger Relief, Feeding America is um, a very large network throughout the country, and we work with them to provide 270 million meals nationwide, and here we work with a lot of local agencies as well. On a weekly basis, they come to our stores and they pick up meat and dairy to provide to their agencies and their clients. Um, additionally, we care about sustainable and responsible food sourcing, whether that be with meat and seafood or with sourcing from local farmers and local produce. Uh, we care about these product lines for generations to come and we care about their sustainability. Additionally, uh, we're committed to reducing our carbon footprint and caring and giving back to the environment. We have a very robust recycling program. Uh, we also make efforts to reduce energy in our stores and then also reduce our fuel emissions. 
And I do just quickly want to touch on this, I know we don't have a lot of time, but we are so very happy. We were recognized by Yahoo Finance last week uh, for being a good corporate citizen on Wall Street. And normally you don't really think of Kroger as being on Wall Street. However, um, we do operate in 36 states and we are the nation's largest grocer. And so we were so, so very honored to be recognized for our contributions to the local communities where we serve. Um, and then I also want to point out this little last quote here um, relates to Kroger Community Rewards, and I'll touch on that a little bit later as well. So now, um, to the nuts and bolts of the new Marketplace store. This store will be very similar, but unique to our Kingwood Marketplace store, and if any of you have had the opportunity to go and visit our store at North Park and 59, it would be very similar. It would be 124,000 square feet. And really, it will be a grocery store, but the point of distinction is we will carry other items as well. It will be so much more than just a grocery store. Of course, we'll have our fresh and organic produce. Um, we'll have housewares and small appliances. We'll have children's essentials in a baby world. Pet care. We'll have a pharmacy with two lanes for easy prescription pickups. And we'll also, inside the store, we'll have a large, what we call a wellness alcove. Um, we'll feature fashion and apparel. We'll have a fuel center, of course, and we'll have chef-prepared items. <clears throat> Real quickly, we're looking to hire 350 new hourly and part um, hourly and salary position. Excuse me. Um, we do have a very active veterans hiring process and hiring program, and we will have hiring fairs leading up to the opening of this store. Now, if you or if anybody that you know at any point would like to apply for a position here, before the hiring fairs, we encourage you to go online at kroger.com backslash careers and go ahead and pre-apply. Now getting to the food, I want to start with Murray's cheese. This is something so, so very close to my heart because I love cheese and we have an exclusive relationship with Murray's Cheese of New York. It's a cheese shop in New York City, and we have some cheese bombers who come and hire our staffs, or hire our staff, um, and they help with um, a variety of cheeses, pairings. We also have a lot of accessories and a lot of very nice serving dishes. Very, very knowledgeable stuff. This is great for entertaining us if you like cheese like me. We will also have a specially curated craft beer and wine selection. Um, the craft beer scene is really kicking off, and we're, we're certainly trying to work with as many local craft breweries as possible, um, and that is the same with wine. We will have a specialty deli in an in artisanal bistro, so this is a lot of hot foods that will be pre-prepared. You can order, dine in, they'll come in a variety of sizes. We'll also have a pan-Asian bistro and um, prepared sushi on the site. Great if you want to stop in for lunch, or if you need to grab and go on your way home, grab something, you don't have to worry about cooking. Um, and then, of course, we'll have Starbucks uh, in our store as well. I mentioned the baby world and the children's essentials. Um, this is everything from diapers and formula to toddler toys and clothes. It's very comprehensive. I'm pushing for us to have a registry. I don't know if that will happen, but um, I mean, it's, it's really that comprehensive. All of your needs you can find there. Um, we'll have staples in apparel and fashion. And I can speak for the women's um, products line there. There's some really great jewelry, scarves, shoes, great workout gear. Um, same for the men as well. Maybe not the jewelry and the scarves, but um, same with the, the children. We will also carry some outer gear and work gear like Carhartt and other um, durable shoes and items to wear. Um, again, touching on our healthy meal solutions, um, I just want to briefly mention in our full service meat and seafood area, we will have a grill and a steamer. So you can choose your lobster, you can choose your cut of beef or your cut of meat and we can grill it for you. Then you can take it home and you don't have to worry about cooking. Um, live, live naturally, so there's been a really high demand. Today's consumer is so well informed and people more than ever are caring about what they put in their bodies and, and, and what they put on the plate for their family. Um, we have a very expanded gluten-free, natural and organic product selection and we try to offer this at very approachable prices with our Simple Truth and our Simple Truth organic products line. Um, Additionally, I do want to mention our pet area. 
of course, we have apparel and toys and food for all of our four-legged friends and lizards and birds as well. <laughs> so here I just want to briefly touch on um, the stylish home goods and the housewares. Um, we will also have something called a kitchen place, and this is everything. This is um, plates to serving dishes, stemware, flatware, small appliances. If you need it for entertaining, chances are we'll carry it in our kitchen place. And of course, I want to mention having like nightmares of being back in high school. Right now. <laughs> of course, we'll have um, seasonal and holiday items. Um, as well as toys, office supplies, and we'll have a very large single-serve grab-and-go beverage station in the front of the checkout lanes. So it'll be sort of like that convenient serve field if you just want to run in and grab something. Um, and of course, as, as I mentioned, we will have uh, indoor and outdoor seating. Traffic considerations. Um, Due to concerns in our proximity to the high school and then our proximity to the Beltway, we know there's a lot of traffic in and out. We will have very large um, entrances at least 40 feet to allow for the safe passage of cars in and out in multi lanes. Um, we will also have a fuel center with 18 pumps. We will have competitive fuel prices like in all of our Kroger fuel stations. And we will offer exclusive fuel points and fuel promotions. Again, the environmental considerations. Uh, we're committed to reducing waste locally. As I mentioned, we do have a very robust recycling program, and that is our cardboard and plastic bag program. Um, on top of that, we, we are looking really to employ the latest energy saving technology. Uh, we will have, once, you, once the store opens, you'll see we'll have skylights that will allow natural light in. And additionally, we'll have new refrigerator compressors. And basically, this is more energy efficient, and it helps maintain the integrity of the temperatures um, better than traditional um, refrigeration systems. And then you'll see throughout the construction process, you'll see many dumpsters outside on the property. The reason for that is we are committed to recycling 100% of all of our construction materials. So we'll have many dumpsters out there to separate out all of, all of the materials that we use during construction. And lastly, I'll just um, tell you a little bit about our Kroger mobile app. If you haven't already, I really encourage you to download it. This is really fantastic. You can instantly download coupons to your Kroger card when you're in the store. Um, there's an in-store directory, and you can manage your fuel points, your prescriptions, and your grocery list, all from this Kroger app. And you will also have access to exclusive discounts and programs and promotions specific to the store that you're in. And then I just want to quickly mention the Community Rewards Program. I know there was mention of booster clubs earlier um, and our commitment to the community. We want to reward your shopping in our store. With the Kroger Community Rewards Program, you can earn money for your favorite organization while shopping with Kroger just by using your Kroger Plus card and going online and designating um, either a school, a church, an HOA, PTA, any 501c3 organization to receive um, a percentage of your sale. Okay, and with that, I'll stick around at the end. If you have any questions, also feel free to come up and introduce yourself. Again, my name is Danny Murphy. Thank you so much. Not much going on in our community, is there? Oh, man. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, Bob Sullivan, I thought I saw you. Are you here today? Hey, Bob. Did you have anything that you want to say about FNC Technologies? Well, just in the in interest of time, I'll keep it very short. But uh, uh, FNC Technologies is uh, building a new facility there on the horizon. Uh, we've been at it a couple of years. We're just uh, at the tail end of wrapping it up. We expect to take possession of it uh, in, uh, in January. And in the first half of next year, move between 1,600 and 1,800 employees into these facilities from other facilities that we have in the Houston area. So we're very excited about this new campus, and we're excited about being part of this community. And I guess in February, I'll be back to give you a bit more of a uh, proper update of the, uh, the new campus that we have. Right. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it very much. And uh, thank you very much. So 
Well, we're planning on in February, like we mentioned, Bob uh, is planning on coming back and giving us more information about FMC technologies. One of the things I think you're going to be so thrilled with is we've got to know our friends with McCord Development. And do we have anybody here today with McCord? Okay, that's unusual. They're, they're very busy right now. But one of the things they asked me to share some things I will in a minute, but also with FMC Technologies, these are class people. They, they want to be a part of this community. They want to be great neighbors. And so I think you're going to be thrilled with that. One thing that John Flournoy gave me to share with you today, and then they'll be back in, in our February meeting, and hopefully... <laughs> Commissioner Lee is going to try to be here then. Uh, but we'll see about that, how that goes. But uh, right now, McCord is breaking ground on a five-story, 83,000 square foot. Did this already mention up here? I'll just go through it real quick. Uh, it's an urban building. Uh, in February 2016, they're going to start that. They're also under contract on 150 key Marriott Courtyard in Redemption Square. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> and it's expected to open in 2017. Also under contract on a 240-unit luxury multifamily project that will be garage parked at the best in the sub-market. So there's a lot going on. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go right into people being able to stand up and say 30 seconds about what they do. And then at the end, we're going to have drawings. So Trey, would you mind, since you're good at this, I'm going to put you on the spot and you're going to be the first one. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm a colleague of Don Gettys uh, with Edward Jones. So we essentially help individuals and businesses with their long-term serious financial needs. Uh, my office is actually in Kingwood by Chelsea's Deli. But I just want to say thank you to all the community members and wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. John Sparks, I do auto and home insurance. We will save you money. I'm Martin Gallon from the Stop Line Magazine. I'm Christy Hernandez with AMCAP Mortgage. I'm your local lender here. So if you have any money needs, I'd love to meet with you. Vicki Zagan with Pino's Palette Kingwood. We're bringing Pino's Palette to Kingwood in uh, late winter, early spring of next year. I'm Shazine and I'm representing the Summerwood Elementary and I also wanted to talk about the carnival. If anyone would like to grab a brochure about the carnival that's coming up as a, for sponsorship or donation or advertising opportunity, let me know. I messed up. So HEB has been very gracious to provide us with three door prizes today and you have to be here to win, right? Okay. Okay. So Gordon, pick your own. Oh, you want to put it in? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, you're going to make believe and pull it out. Shh. Okay, Gordon, you pull it out. Okay. For our first one is ticket number 173389. Who is it? Nobody? Okay. They shouldn't have left, right? Okay. Gordon. It's kind of like when people eat, they get quiet and they go and practice. Okay, one, seven, three, 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 four. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that you? Did you get it? Okay. All right, there you go, Mr. Gentleman. Thank you very much. Right here. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is one, seven, three, three, oh, seven. Three 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 six. Three 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 six. Okay, Gordon, you're doing a great job with this. I appreciate it, man. Okay, one seven three three six one. Hey, shouldn't have left. Okay, all right. One seven three three seven five. Yay! Thank you so much for that. Okay, here we go. 
Hi, I'm Chanel Griffith, and I'm with Moody Green Lawn Services for a professional landscaping company for commercial landscaping. Hi everyone, I'm here with Gadget MD. I'm in the area and most people don't know it. So I'm located in Park Lake Plaza, right uh, down from Gold's Gym. If you break your cell phone, your tablet, your gaming system, or your laptop, we can fix it for you. We also offer warranties. We also offer discounts to people who serve us, like teachers, police officers, firefighters, and students, because we know they're poor. <laughs> Come here, Christopher's dying restaurant. Hi there, I'm Chelsea Dawson with Homeless Morgan for the King's Harbor. Hi, I'm Kevin Reynolds with Green X Rewards. Hello, I'm Justin Neal with the ID Financial Network. I work as a financial planner and business developer.